Congratulations, you've made it to the fourth and final section of teaching critical thinking through art. You've practiced slowing down to observe and describe, you've learned strategies to develop evidence-based reasoning, and you've dipped into questioning with See, Think, Wonder. Now we'll dive deeper into wondering. The questioning and investigating disposition emphasizes asking questions as a way of stimulating curiosity and guiding inquiry. Today, many notable educators say the most important thing we can teach students is how to ask questions. Well, I think questioning is a powerful tool, period, because it allows you to think deeply about what you see and what you think and what you know. But it also allows you to, in that particular instance, exchange questions with one another where answers where you would be able to build upon the answer or build upon the question. And the question allows you to just dig deeper and uncover those things that sometimes you may not want to address, but at that particular time, it's a very important idea to address. In my first year as a museum educator, just out of teaching in the classroom, I had planned a gallery tour, complete with learning goals, strategic questions to ask, and carefully placed information to share. But just before my lesson, I thought, what if the students' curiosity guided our discussion? So I took a chance. After leading them on a walk around a gallery filled with 16th century tapestries and armor, I asked students to choose one work of art that stood out to them and write one thing about that work of art that made them wonder. Once students shared aloud, I realized that their wonders directly related to the goals I'd planned for them. Forming their own questions was its own form of learning. Instead of imposing my agenda, they were incredibly motivated to explore for themselves. At this point, I began to trust the artful thinking process even more. In this section, we'll start by asking you to form some open-ended questions. Then you're going to see the dispositions of questioning and investigating unfold in two videos featuring two very different works of contemporary art. First, a group of teachers in my professional development course discuss Synecdoche by Byron Kim with the creative questions routine. The questions and discussion become deeply personal as teachers connect to the topics of race and representation. In the second teaching video, fourth grade students investigate Relative by Sam Gilliam in a game-like version of creative questions using materials to puzzle about Gilliam's creative process. As we unpack the lessons together, we'll focus on how to encourage students to ask open-ended questions and what to do with their questions to keep curiosity brimming. We'll wrap up by hearing what accommodations can make thinking routines accessible for all learners. Finally, classroom teachers will share artful thinking teaching tips for every educator. As a culmination to the course, our final project assignment will give you the opportunity to engage more deeply with artful thinking routines, the National Gallery's collection, and the community of learners in our course. I hope you're curious, because I can't wait to read what you're wondering.